بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ہاؤ یو آر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے دس از دا ٹینتھ لیکچر آف گریڈ نائن دا چیپٹر نیم از کیمیکل ریکٹیوٹی اینڈ دا ٹاپک نیم از گولڈ نان میٹلز اینڈ ڈفرینٹ شیڈ بٹوین میٹلز اینڈ نان میٹلز فرسٹ آف آل واٹ از گولڈ گولڈ ہیز بی نان سنس پری ہسٹورک ٹائمز اینڈ واز ون آف دا فرسٹ میٹلز ٹو بی ورکڈ مینلی بیکاز اٹ واز ٹو بی فاؤنڈ ایز نگیٹس اور ایز پارٹیکلز ان دا بیڈز آف اسٹریمس Gold has been used to make ornamental objects and jewelry for thousands of years as you know that gold is used in our daily life in our jewelries in ornamental objects special properties of gold like very high luster attractive color inertness tarnish resistivity ability to be drawn into the wires hammered into sheets or cast into shapes etc make it perfect for manufacturing of jewelry means for, for the first time or in the first step the soft form of metals are drawn into the wires hammered into the sheets and then they return into the shape like gold so this gold is used in the manufacturing of jewelry and many ornamental objects pure gold is too soft to resist the stresses applied to many jewelry items alloying gold with other metals such as copper silver and platinum increase its durability In olden days the coins were made of gold gold coins were commonly used in transaction up to paper currency became a more common form of exchange it means that gold is a soft form of metal it is used in jewelry items gold with other metals such as copper silver and platinum when become alloyed when gold and other metals become alloyed it increase its durability means it is valuable in earlier days the coins were made of gold gold coins were commonly used in transactions up to paper currency you have also seen coins in your daily lives that for 2 rupee coin for 10 rupee coin for 5 rupee coin gold is used in these coins so the first gold is used in the jewelry and ornamental objects and secondly the gold is used in coins gold is a chemical element with symbol au and atomic number 79 in its purest form it is the bright slightly reddish yellow dense soft malleable and ductile metal means it's a soft metal and it's a yellow color metal you have seen gold in your daily lives in jewelry that it's reddish yellow color it's dense means its mass is greater and it is soft chemically gold is a transition metal and a group 11 element it is one of the least reactive chemical elements and is solid under the standard conditions as you know that when we react gold with the water the gold will not dissolve into the water it means that gold is the least reactive metal this is the symbol of gold that is au its atomic number is 79 and its mass number is 196.96 what is its electronic configuration 4f14 5d10 and 6s1 it is in the form of crystal structure Generally gold is used in the standard desktop or laptop computers the rapid and accurate transmission of digital information from one component to another requires an efficient and reliable conductor means for the transmission of digital information from one component to another component or from one computer to another computer or from one device to another device requires an effective and efficient conductor Gold meets all these requirements better than any other metal means gold can be used for the transmission of digital information the information of high quality and reliable performance justifies the high cost gold alloys are used for dental fillings tooth crowns and orthodontic appliances means for the dental purposes gold metal is used gold is used in dentistry because it is a chemically inert means it cannot be reacted it is least reactive 
non allergic and easy for the dentist to work so the gold uses is in the transmission of digital information secondly the gold is used in de dentistry that is in orthodontic appliances tooth crowns etc so gold has been used extensively as the ornamental objects and in the jewelry secondly gold is used in the alloys gold is used in making coins sorry gold is used in making coins gold with all other metals which make alloys increases its durability means gold can be used for a longer period of time then in the dentistry gold has a lot of uses and gold is used for the transmission of digital information from one component to another component chemical properties of gold gold is insoluble in nitric acid which dissolves silver and base metals a property that has long been used to refine gold and to confirm the presence of gold in items giving rise to the term acid test it dissolves in mercury though forming amalgam alloys but this is not a chemical reaction now what is non metal non metals are totally opposite of the metals what does it means that when metals are malleable and ductile non metals are non malleable and non ductile their oxides are hydroxide their oxides and hydroxides are acids non metals exist in all the three states of matter at room temperature non metals can exist in all the three states of matter at room temperature while in metals all the metals are solid while mercury which is only liquid at room temperature but in case of non metals non metals exist in all the three states of matter at room temperature metals are the good conductor of heat and electricity whereas non metals are the bad conductor or non conductor of heat and electricity non metals are the elements in group 14 to 16 of the periodic table non metals are not able to conduct electricity or heat very well as metals are good conductor but non metals are not good conductor as opposed to metals non metallic elements are very brittle and cannot be rolled into wires or pounded into sheets metals are soft and they can be drawn into wires and sheets while non metals are hard and cannot be drawn into the wires or sheets the non metals exist in two of the three states of matters at room temperature that is gases and solids such as oxygen and carbon the non metals have no metallic luster and do not reflect light they have oxidation numbers of plus minus 4 minus 3 and minus 2 a non metal is one which burns in oxygen and produce an oxide when a non metal react with oxygen it produces its oxide which is usually acidic and in its acid form the litmus paper turns blue to red so a non metal is an element which gains an electron and forms an anion as you know that metal has the ability to lose an electron and form cation while a non metal has the ability to gain an electron and form anion for example in chlorine a non metal gains an electron chlorine has the ability to gain an electron chlorine has seven electron in its outermost shell and it has the ability to gain one electron from any other atom for example sodium so for the two chlorine atoms we need two electrons to accommodate in its outermost shells so chlorine by gaining two electrons form two chlorine anions now this is non metal that is hydrogen its symbol is h atomic number is 1 mass number is also 1 melting point is minus 259.14 degree centigrade boiling point is minus 252.87 degree centigrade number of protons or electrons is 1 number of neutrons are 0 in the atomic number number of protons or electrons are 1 while in the mass number proton is 1 while the neutron is 0 its classification it as non metal crystal structure means it has hexagonal structure and density is 293 kelvin density at 293 kelvin is 0.08988 gram per centimeter cube and its color is so now list some differences between metals and the non metals 
The essential difference between a metal and a non-metal is its ability to gain or lose electron. As you know that a metal has the ability to lose electron while a non-metal has the ability to gain electron. So in case of metals, a metal is an element which forms positive ions by losing electron. Metal will lose electron and form positive ions that is cation. For example, sodium chloride. Definition of non-metal. A non-metal is an element which forms negative ions by gaining electron. So the non-metal has the ability to gain electron and form anion. Physical properties of metals. Metals tend to have the following physical properties. They are lustrous. They are sonorous. They are strong and tough. They are malleable. They are, they are ductile. They are solids with high melting point and have relatively high densities they are good conductor of heat and heat and electricity in the properties of metals you have discussed all these that these are sonorous malleable ductile a good conductor of heat and electricity they have high densities because of their high masses they have high melting points all the metals are solid at room temperature except leak to except except mercury which is liquid so now the physical properties of non metals Non-metals tends to have the following physical properties. They are dull in appearance. They can break easily if they are solids. They are either gases, liquids or solids which with low melting points and boiling points. They have a low density and poor conductors of heat and electricity. Means non-metals are totally opposite of the metals. Chemical properties. Metals tend to have the following chemical properties. Their oxides are basic. Their chlorides are ionic. They tend to be the reducing agents. They react with acids to give hydrogens. So metals are generally solid at ordinary temperature. Well, in non-metals, most of the non-metals are either solids or gases at ordinary temperature. Metals generally possess shining and brilliant surfaces and can reflect light. Well, non-metals do not possess such surfaces and cannot reflect light. Means they are not lustrous. Metals when struck with a hammer emit a distinctive metallic sound. Means metals are sonorous, while non-metals are not sonorous. Metals are hard, malleable and ductile and generally have high, high specific gravity, high melting and boiling points. While the non-metals have low specific gravity, low melting and boiling points. They are not hard but they are brittle. Metals are generally good conductor of heat and electricity while non-metals are bad conductor of heat and electricity. Oxides of metals are basic while oxides of non-metals are acidic. Metals frequently dissolve in the dilute mineral acid, displacing hydrogen from the acids. While the non-metals do not dissolve in dilute acids and cannot displace hydrogen from the acids. This was all about the today's topic. Thank you so much.